Martin Schloff is an Austrian businessman. He was occupied in trade with East Germany before the German reunification. According to investigations by the German parliament, Sloff was an unofficial employee of the Stasi. His Stasi codename was Landruf and registration number 3886-86. His net worth is estimated over 8 billion euros. Sloff was born in Vienna, Austria, to Jewish refugees from World War II. He and his brother James took over the commercial firm Robert Plotchek AG. The Stasi archives have files about him as early as 1982. Schloff had several meetings with East German officials in 1982. Stasi documents describe how senior Stasi officers were impressed with Schloff's extensive holdings, his various companies, and his access to the needed America technology. According to the German parliament's investigations, Schloff supplied East Germany with goods that were embargoed by the West. When the parliament of Germany investigated public funds that disappeared after the fall of the Berlin Wall, it found out that East Germany had transferred large amounts of money to Schloff through accounts in Vaduz, the capital of Liechtenstein, in return for goods under Western embargo. Moreover, high-ranking Stasi officers continued their post-GDR careers in management positions in Schloff's group of companies. For example, in 1990 Herbert Kohler, Stasi commander in Dresden, transferred 170 million marks to Schloff for hard disks and months later went to work for him. The investigations concluded that Schloff's empire of companies played a crucial role in the Stasi attempts to secure the financial future of Stasi agents and keep the intelligence network alive. The Stern magazine noted that KGB officer Vladimir Putin worked with his Stasi colleagues in Dresden simultaneously. Residents of Martin Schloff in Vienna in recent years he has purchased mobile phone companies in Eastern Europe and resold them for big profits. In 2010 he established a bank in Liechtenstein called Sigma Bank. In March 2008, the Sunday Times reported that Schloff's 2007 divorce from his wife Andrea involved a 200 million euro settlement, the largest ever reported up to that time. Schloff has links to Gazprom companies. His confidant Michael Hassone holds positions in the Centrex Group, a network of companies controlled by Gazprom. Hassone was also president of the Liechtenstein Registered Cap Holding, which holds shares in the Jericho Casino for Schloff and his partners. According to Haaretz, Hassan in fact holds positions in all the companies to which Schloff is connected, the Robert Plachek Lumber Trade Company. Various cell phone firms, the private family foundation MS Private Stiftung, the Latvian oil company, of which Schloff is a partner. And more. And several months ago, Schloff appointed him deputy chairman of Sigma Bank, which he established in Liechtenstein. Schloff also owns a company in Cyprus which is registered at the same address as Centrex Holding and shares some directors with Gazprom companies. Schloff, Centrex, and Robert Nowakowski share the same press officer in Vienna. Nowakowski is involved with Centrex Group and a director of Central Energy Italian Gas Holding, a company which was found to secretly benefit Bruno Mentosti Grinelli, a friend of Silvio Berlusconi, in an Italian-Russian gas deal. A co-owner of East Mediterranean Gas Company claimed that the offshore Gaza gas fields project, owned mostly by British Gas, had shares held confidentially in trust for various people including Schloff and Palestinian businessman Mohammed Rashid. In 1998 Schloff opened a casino in Jericho in partnership with a company partly owned by Yasir Arafat. Named the Oasis, it was aimed at Israelis, who could not gamble in Israel where gaming is not legal. The casino was closed during the Second Intifada. According to later investigations, Schloff had many meetings with Ariel Sharon. In 2002 Schloff used his contacts with Sharon to help normalize the Austrian federal government's relations with Israel. The Israeli government had recalled its ambassador from Vienna, after government participation of the FPO in 2000. A new Israeli ambassador was sent to Austria in 2004. In December 2005 Israeli police raided Schloff's apartment and announced that they had found evidence of a $3 million bribe. Within 24 hours Sharon suffered a stroke and went to coma, never recovering. Schloff's partner Robert Nowakowski has also been investigated. An investigative expose in Haaretz targeting Avigdor Lieberman, unearthed connections between the financier of the corruption-laden Oasis Casino in Jericho and Prime Minister Ehud Olmert. And his predecessor Ariel Sharon. Police alleged that Sharon had received a $3 million bribe, and Lieberman is still under investigation for allegedly receiving a bribe from Schloff. According to Haaretz, the $3 million that parachuted into Gilad and Omri Sharon's bank account toward the end of 2002 was transferred there in the context of a consultancy contract for development of coal causes in Russia. 
Gilad Sharon was brought into the campaign to make the wilderness bloom in Russia by Getex, a large Russian-based exporter of seeds from Eastern Europe. Getex also has ties with Israeli firms involved in exporting wheat from Ukraine. For example, the company owns farms in Eastern Europe and is considered large and prominent in its field. It has its Vienna offices in the same building as Juramex, which was behind the $1 million guarantee to the Yisrael Beitenu party. Schloff activities seem to be related to Getex. In June 2010 Schloff's NYC business partner, Solomon Obstfeld, who ran LH Financial, was found dead in an apparent suicide or murder. In September 2010 journalist Gidi Weitz published an investigative story in Haaretz on Schloff's allegedly corrupt and illegal activities, both financial and political, in several countries including Austria and Israel. In April 2011, the Israeli foreign minister, Avigdor Lieberman, was put under investigation after being accused of receiving bribes from Martin Schloff among other businessmen. Thanks for watching.